Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few of you reached out to me after a recent historic milestone occurred on August 23rd, and it went a little something like this. No way. <gasps> That's great. We landed on the moon. The we in this instance would be India. As I'm sure many of you know by now, India has officially joined the Moon Landing Club. Their Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft touched down near the moon's south pole on August 23rd, racking up a huge milestone for that nation. India is now the fourth country to stick the lunar landing after the United States, the former Soviet Union, and China. The historic touchdown happened at 8.33 a.m. Eastern Time, according to the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO. Their chairman announced, we have achieved a soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. And it was such a big deal that the Google Doodle for the day celebrated India's achievement. And the cheers and enthusiasm from the mission control at ISRO that day is one of the most adorable things I have seen in the space industry in a while. But as it always is, it was definitely a tense final couple of minutes. The sensors that are updating at this point are providing confirmation of the safety of the landing site. As expected, the retargeting is going on, and this is a very good signature for the lander. Now you can see that the lander is going to be about 65 meters above the surface. Currently, only two engines are now being fired and uh, we are nearly at zero velocity, vertical and horizontal. We, are, we were hovering and now we are approaching the moon's surface. धीरे धीरे lander की वेग बान को कम किया जा रहा है और हम अब लगभग 50 मीटर से भी कम आ चुके हैं. We can see the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, who is here to encourage us. And he is critically looking at the visuals. Ji haan, aap apne screen pe dekh sakte hain ki hum pao lander module People are applauding. Land Let us Martin. all wait to hear from the Secretary Department of Space and Chairman ISRO, Sri S. Somnath. Lander module puri se. They're just so contagiously happy. And like the Prime Minister, like waving his little flag. Ugh, too cute. Too cute, India. But it's been a long road for India, and this landing was particularly hard one. Chandrayaan-3 was India's second attempt to land near the South Pole, an area of the moon where no one has ever landed before. The South Polar region is thought to harbor large amounts of water ice, which, if accessible, could be mined for rocket fuel and life support for future crewed missions. And India's first attempt at a lunar touchdown in September 2019 failed when the Chandrayaan-2 lander crashed into the moon due to a software glitch. And in fact, as I'm sure many of you already know, this location is actually where Russia had hoped its first moon mission in 47 years, the Luna 25, would have landed on August 21st. But that effort failed when the probe also crashed into the moon after a final orbital maneuver went a bit sideways. But four years and many design and software upgrades later, the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft launched atop an LVM-3 rocket on July 14th from a spaceport in Triharakota on India's east coast. The spacecraft entered an elliptical orbit earlier this month and then got itself into a landing position about 93 miles above the lunar surface. The next day after the landing, the solar-powered rover Pragayan, which apparently is Sanskrit for wisdom, rolled off Chandrayaan 3's lander. The rover will spend one lunar day, or about 14 Earth days, exploring its new home. And the goal is to collect as much scientific data about the moon's makeup before its batteries drain after sunset. And if you've been following ISRO on Twitter, you can see that there are some juicy photos already being sent back of both the landing and the surface of the moon itself. 
India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi said in a speech following the landing, This success belongs to all of humanity, and it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. I'm confident that all countries in the world, including those from the global south, are capable of achieving such feats. We can all aspire to the moon and beyond. Here, here, Prime Minister. The Chandrayaan-3 mission, which costs a pretty modest $73 million US, is unfolding at a time where a lot of nations, including ourselves and China, are eyeing the moon for future crewed missions. NASA, as we know, aims to land astronauts near the lunar south pole in late 2025 or 2026 on its Artemis 3 mission, and to begin to build one or more bases in the region shortly thereafter. Chandrayaan-3 could also help spur India's space program, which could lead to even greater accomplishments in the future. Anil Bardwaj, director of the Physical Research Laboratory in India, said the success of the moon landing is going to be a game changer for the new generation. He added that the success is important for the country's strategic and geopolitical purposes, as well as to drive the youth to do something different and unique. As I've said before, the more players in the game of space, the better I think it is for everyone. So many incredible innovations and technologies have come from having a robust space program. So I think moments like this are really important and inspiring for the next generation that's coming up, as we've seen in our own space program for the last 65 years. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you seen a cuter mission control room? I don't know. I'm open if you have, but I mean, these people <laughs> were definitely giving me Pixar vibes that just, maybe it's the prime minister with the flag. I don't know. It just got me. Okay. That's it for now. Thank you for the suggestion guys. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.